at cane versus spur pruning during the growing season and looking at it from the perspective of what we would prune back during the pruning season or the dormant season. And this is helpful to look at now because you can actually understand what's growing now and what we'd be dealing with in the dormant season. Here we have a cordon trained spur pruned vine. Here's the trunk. Here's the head of the vine. This is a spur. So you see the spurs all along this cordon. The cordon is permanent, or we call it semi-permanent sometimes, because we can renew it. But it's an arm or extension from the trunk. These spurs are also permanent. But what's not permanent is what's at the top of this spur. Each year we want to prune this back. If we look at this spur, we see this extension right here. This is really the one-year-old wood that was pruned back right here during last winter. The vineyard management crew came through and they cut it back. This was a shoot last year. They cut it back only to one bud and one other bud right here. So really two buds. What grew this spring were these two shoots from these buds. So you can see these buds were fruitful. They produced shoots with fruit. Now there's other shoots that can grow from here and they will thin these out during the season to maintain an open cluster zone. So come this winter, we will come in and we'll make a pruning cut right here. And then we make it right here because we have this shoot right here that has some buds on it that we can use for next year. So next season's growth. And we don't want to leave both on because it, it takes the fruiting zone further and further away from the base of the spur and the cordon. So here's another spur to just illustrate the selection process for next year. A spur that we're going to cut off during pruning, we would come in and remove all of this right here. We'd make our pruning cut right here. We maintain this shoot, which currently exists right now and has, a, has fruit on it, once all of this is off in the dormant season, we will come in and cut this, this spur down to two buds, which is bud number one here, bud number two there. So next season when this spur that we maintain after pruning starts to grow, the two shoots that arise from this one will come from this bud and this bud. And at the end of next growing season, that pruning cut will look just like this pruning cut.